here at one of the oldest pride parades in Canada, a big new milestone for this couple. In Cuba, you have to be a bit hidden and a bit more conservative, but now we're here, we can walk down the street holding our hands. It was the first place that my partner and I were ever able to hold hands publicly. But while organizers say the Toronto Pride Parade is safe, a recent climate of LGBTQ hate in Canada and abroad has pushed up their costs. When you start seeing a lot of online hate, you have to redirect how you're doing things. You have to redirect funding. You have to redirect energy and time and efforts to ensure that you're creating a space. According to StatsCan, hate crimes targeting people for their sexual orientation are on the rise. 2021 saw a 64% jump in reported incidents from the year before. Organizers say policing costs have doubled, while insurance costs are five times higher than last year. Without one and a half million dollars in last minute emergency funding from the federal government, the biggest pride celebration in Canada would be forced to cut events. But critics say the LGBTQ community has faced challenges like this before. It's what's brought this community together for decades. And they say the federal government shouldn't be bailing organizers out. This queer historian blames the funding shortfall on chronic mismanagement. They've had a full year to put this festival together, and they've only now just come forward in this crisis demanding millions of dollars from the federal government. We never needed millions of dollars 20 years ago, 30 years ago. We held this festival on this street, right here. We don't need it. But organizers point out that the federal funding is not just for Toronto, but for Montreal, Vancouver, and dozens of smaller pride events across Canada. And parade goers say threats won't stop them from celebrating their freedom to love who they want because hate has no place here. Philip Lee Shannock, CBC News, Toronto.